Good day, YouTube. Today I'm going to do just a bit of a quick look at the latest release of Ubuntu. So this is 22.04, as we can see on the top middle there. This is actually in beta, so it's not fully released until about uh, late April sometime, approximately. Now, being the long-term service release uh, means you get general updates for the next five years, and then you get uh, security updates for a further five years on top of that. But uh, enough of that there. Let's have a little bit of a look at the, the desktop environments and some of the basic stats there as well. So first of all, we are actually still running on the, uh, the customized GNOME desktop environment. So it does look mostly the same uh, as you'll find on most recent versions of Ubuntu there. Uh, we'll just go to the start menu and see that it is very similar the way that it chooses to work there. I use Ubuntu as my daily driver. It's not perfect, but it works well enough in my opinion. If we go to the file manager, uh, we'll see that it is uh, mostly the same here. Now we can make this all dark mode, but it doesn't appear to be dark mode out of the box, which I guess I'm not a fan of, but that can always change quite easily. Now we are working with GNOME files. Even there it says for version 42.beta. I haven't noticed that there before. So it is still in beta, but it is much of a muchness. As long as you can right click and go to open terminal, that's what keeps me most happy there. Uh, next up is, let's have a little, a little bit of a look under the hood, see what's going on there. So if we look, were to look at the kernel, currently we've, we're set on the 5.15 kernel. I believe that uh, the previous or the current version of Ubuntu 21.0 10 is on the 14 or 13 so a little bit later and greater better for later hardware uh, you know whatever the case may be Wi-Fi drivers graphics cards drivers all the above there and even more uh, last but not least let's have a just a little bit of a look at uh, the RAM on boot up so nothing's really booted in the background except for the operating system itself and uh, we're running at about 930 megabytes of RAM on boot up which is not fantastic it's not the worst I have seen some uh, actually the current Ubuntu distro seems to be running a little bit higher so you could say it's a little bit more optimized but it is running on the GNOME desktop environment, now really officially known to be the largest or most resource heavy uh, Linux distro amongst all of them, or should I say Linux desktop environment for distros. So a little bit higher still. So that's pretty much it guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.